Oh no! And another one bites the Illuminati dust. You old fake Egyptian ass. Bleh. Nah, let me stop. Here's the deal. Your girl Kiki Palmer, you know, you can call <laughs> You would think that my name was Palmer when I visit her thirst trap of an Instagram page, Jesus, is all I'm gonna say. Cause I definitely be palming something. But anyways, Jesus, your girl Kiki Palmer, the actress who played was it T Boz that she played on the TLC movie? Pretty sure it's T Boz. Anyways, Jesus. She went and got some pyramids and Queen of Kush tattooed on the back of a neck Beh, you ain't from no damn Kush no damn Ethiopia or nowhere else in Africa Akibalan or Mexum you're not from there be so why are you getting pseudo conscious stuff like this tattooed on the back of your neck be what in the hashtag hotep is going on here Jesus nine ether let me go ahead and read to you what your girl Kiki Palmer had to say about it all on Simpstagram, so then that way maybe we can get a better understanding of what the hell this mess means. <sighs> Pyramids. Let me find out she's an Eastern star. She wrote, and I quote, The kingdom of Kush or Kush was an ancient African Nubian kingdom situated on the confluences of the Blue Nile, White Nile, and River Atbara. 1050 to 1070 BC, 350 AD. But at the height of its power, in about 700 BC, the kingdom of Kush controlled the entirety of Egypt itself with Kushite pharaohs ruling. What I love most is its history of female rulers. It's not like you're a ruler. What the shit you be doing? That's none of my business. What I love most <laughs> is its history of female rulers. In school, we very rarely ever learn about female rulers and never about African rulers. Amanarinas was one of the most famous queens of Kush. She reigned from about 400 BCE to 10 BCE. She is one of the most famous, <laughs> I know I'm going to butcher this name, Candakes means queen. Really? But that was the title back then. Because of her role leading Kushite armies against the Romans from in a war that lasted five years, 27 BCE to 22 BCE, she was able to communicate a peace treaty that favored the Kushites granting them land and an exemption from future taxation. She has been described as brave with one eye. Hashtag my ancestors. P.S. Egypt is a Greek word meaning black, hence the rename when they invaded. End quote. Doesn't Kush mean black and Egypt mean black and everything else mean black or melanin? According to motherfuckers like Bobby Hemmett, every goddamn thing means black. Tattoo means black. Every damn thing. Ugly haircut means black. No, but seriously, man. Listen, if you're going to be conscious, right? Can you be conscious enough to not wear a fucked up haircut like that? I mean, seriously, Jesus. I know that that may be, you know, nitpicky to some people. But if you're going to try to sound intelligent by talking about some shit that happened hundreds or thousands of years ago. And talk about female rulers and whatnot. Listen, when I hear about male rulers, it doesn't do anything to me. I don't have any sort of pride about that or, or anything like that just because you're a ruler doesn't mean that you were a good one it doesn't mean that you were a noble person it doesn't mean that you loved the people you quote unquote ruled over it doesn't mean you treated people as equals or anything like that it doesn't mean that you ever did the right thing ever ever you could be a ruler and be a tyrant so that has nothing to do with integrity integrity people treating people well people working well together those things are the types of things that I personally identify with, but whatever. It's none of my business. If she wants to sit up here and give credit to people that she never really had any interaction with, you know, but judging by this shea butter shit she's doing right now, maybe she went into the astral realm or something like that, and maybe she got into contact with these people. Maybe her, maybe her third eye is open, her Ajna. <laughs> Her third eye chakra <laughs> is so open that she can just see these mudger fudges walking around and doing their thing and whatnot. She's like, no, place that stone there. And they're like, who's this bit with the ugly haircut? Why is she dressed like that? Who knows? Maybe she's been back to the future, Jesus. But anyways, all I know is this. All of this pseudo consciousness stuff is one big, one big disappointment to me. Because we can talk all about the pyramids and 
oh, this and that and the third happened and whatnot. That's all well and great. You can learn all of that stuff, Jesus. I don't even give a shit. If that's what you want to believe in hell, even if you want to believe in black Jesus as opposed to white. Now, if you believe in white Jesus, then you could go eat a, you can, you can shove that cross up your ass and eat a, eat a crucified dick. If you into white Jesus, I can't fuck with you. Now, if you believe in black Jesus, hey, at least it's black shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, like seriously, on the real, what we, we what we need to be mainly focused on is fixing some of these things that are going on right now. You know, Monsanto's fucking up the food, water supply messed up, chemtrails, you know, things like that. You know, maybe depleted uranium. There's so many different topics we could be talking about, Jesus. So many different things that we could be conversing about. But you want to talk about Egypt and the pharaohs and stuff like that. Okay, Erica Badu. That's all well and good, boo, but can we talk about what's going on right now, fixing these things where you fuck around, there is no damn future, or maybe we just won't be there in the future, I hope not, Jesus, because that's definitely all of my business, but anyways, this is just me thinking out loud, doesn't mean that I'm right, I know I'm <laughs> gonna piss off mad people, people are gonna be like, dude, fuck you, let her enjoy her tattoo, she's a conscious sister, and you're bashing black women, or something stupid like that, no, I'm not, I'm talking about pseudo-consciousness in our people that's all i'm talking about i'm speaking in general here i'm not talking about just young people i'm not just talking about black people i'm not just talking about celebrities i'm talking about you know just the general conscious awareness replacement movement i think that true consciousness is fixing what's going on around you today coming up with practical solutions to the problems that we're facing right now and i think that we can do a whole lot more if we would focus a little less on getting tattoos tattooed on the back of our necks a little less I'm focusing on football and Negro ball or basketball the Negro ball association if we focus a little less on European cars and European clothes and we focus a little bit more on real problems that we're facing today because I can't even go to the store and buy oranges watermelons or grapes that have seeds in them fruit without seeds that's a real freaking problem. I'm not saying I'm Mr. Super Conscious or anything like that. The only thing I'm saying is this. There's other things that we could be talking about. Like love and hip hop. So I'm going to go do that. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.